Hey guys, Eli here from Nintendo Network 64, here to share my thoughts about yesterday's Nintendo Direct, focusing about E3 and the Wii U games. Let's get something straight. I may be a pissed off Nintendo fanboy, but I'm not pissed off at Sony or Microsoft. In fact, I'm very impressed by both companies, especially Sony. I'm pissed off at Nintendo, the year when they needed to bring their A-game, when both the Xbox One and PS4 were getting unveiled, they dropped the ball completely. Sure, there were some highlights in the presentation, such as Smash Bros, the eShop Reel, and Donkey Kong, but it does nothing to stand up to the PS4 and Xbox One. The first thing the company showed off was Pokemon X and Y, one of the only exclusive 3DS games that was shown at the Nintendo Direct. As expected, the game looks good, but didn't do anything to elevate the Wii U or really help Nintendo today. The new fairy type looks desperate and kinda childish, and the new Playtime with Pokemon mode looks a lot like Nintendogs, Pokemon style. Hopefully this won't take up a large portion of the game, and I don't really care for it. I will be already buying the game, but we didn't need to take up time at an already short conference. Next up was Super Mario 3D World. Honestly, I didn't think I would be so little excited about a new Mario game. I love Mario, but 3D Land was just okay for me. Nowhere near the caliber of Galaxy or any of the 3D Mario games. I'll probably buy the game as well, but I was looking for more. One thing I really enjoyed was the music though. The jazzy tunes were really nice and I hope the full soundtrack is this good. Mario Kart also looked just okay to me. I just picked up Mario Kart 7 and to me the game seems too soon. I don't know how driving at a 90 degree angle will work out, and I don't know if it'll even change up the gameplay that much. I'm hoping for much deeper communities in this version, but I'm also not very excited for this one either. The two games I care the least about were Wii Fit U and Wii U Party. Honestly, being a pretty hardcore gamer, I couldn't care less. I wish that the Wii U was getting some sort of exclusives, at least in regards to the DLC, as most third parties have either left the Wii U entirely or are not caring about the Wii U with their versions. Come on, Nintendo, you have billions in the bank. You can afford to bribe some third parties, waive some fees, fund some games like the Wonderful 101 or Bayonetta, and get your shit together. Third parties are looking at the Wii U as a joke, and it's your job as a console manufacturer to fix this. Microsoft and Sony both get it, Microsoft less so in terms of online, but you need to pick this up. The highlight of the conference for me was the indie reel. All these exclusives or console exclusives are really impressing me. It's great to see that Nintendo is going after these indies, but Sony is doing more. Compete directly with them on the indie front. This is the one place where you can compete well. Give these indies money. This is the biggest thing they need. Publish these games, and for heaven's sake, a lot more time to it during your press conference. It was a large part of Sony's press conference, but it should have been a bigger part of Nintendo's. Wind Waker looked okay, just meh. Honestly, the game didn't look as good as I was hoping for graphically. It doesn't look like a large improvement over the GameCube version, and that's not just my impression of being blown away 10 years ago. I played through the game within the last year. The HD port doesn't look like a huge improvement, and I'm still not sold. Another highlight from the Direct was Donkey Kong. I love Donkey Kong Country Returns. I enjoy the challenge, level design, and background foreground features. The game looked great and I cannot wait to play it. Not the massive surprise I was looking for, but Donkey Kong isn't bad by any means. Nintendo didn't give us much Bayonetta, but for what they did show us, it looks solid. I'll probably enjoy it, but we don't know much about the game currently. I also enjoyed Iwata's subtle sexual reference. Monolith X looks amazing. I'm not necessarily talking about the gameplay, as we haven't seen much, I'm talking about the game's graphics. Honestly, I feel like X is the only game shown so far that can compete with the PS4 and the Xbox One graphically. I'm intrigued. The best part of the conference, in my opinion, is a Smash Bros trailer, of course. Villager was very strange, but looks fun to play with. Mega Man was the real highlight. Multiple abilities and awesome moves were featured, and I cannot wait to try Mega Man out. I'll probably be picking up the Wii U version, but I may pass on the 3DS one. And what the hell is up with the Wii Fit U trainer? Come on, are you really running out of that many ideas? Overall, Nintendo's conference was mediocre. Average. They couldn't stand up at all to Sony or Microsoft which is what they needed to do most at this E3. Nintendo needed to prove that the Wii U is a must-owned console, and they failed to do so this year. Notably missing from the Nintendo Direct was Zelda and Sonic. I would have liked to see more, and most of the game shown didn't impress me. I love Nintendo, but they're not doing it for me right now. They need to get their shit together, show me the stuff that I want, and make some new IPs. It wouldn't hurt to buy a cloud service either, as like the Xbox One, the Wii U needs to be able to get more powerful as time goes on. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, it really helps. And see you guys next time. Hopefully I won't be pissed.